ICB. My name is Beth for those of you who don't know me and I help run ICB Cares. When John and Brandy had asked us to share a devotional, I was kind of feeling like I had nothing to say, um, especially during these times where there's just so many feelings that we're all feeling and we've never seen anything like this happen before, so it's not like we have experience to base it on. And honestly, um, with everything that happens on social media, I often think that there's other voices that are either louder or just better for people to listen to than my own. Um, so I didn't have anything I wanted to share, but that next morning I was sitting and I just remembered something that God had told me a long time ago when I was going through something that was very hard. And um, a couple years back, there was uh, something that happened within my family. Um, that left me feeling very destroyed. Uh, it left me asking God, how can I trust you? Um, just feeling like I couldn't go on. Um, and also just like he didn't have good things for me or that um, I didn't have a good future. And I just remember I was on the hotel, I was in a hotel at the time and I was on the floor and I was crying and God just kind of told me like, Beth, I did not bring you here to leave you. And that has always stuck with me in good times and the bad times, just as a memory of like, God brings us to certain places and it's not like all of a sudden he just disappears and we can't see him anymore. He's still here with us, um, maybe over our own fear or over everything that's happening in front of us, we can't hear him, but we can take the opportunity um, to sit in his grace and, and, and ask to hear him. So that's just kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, because I know, yeah, that's great. It's something that God told me when I was going through a hard time, but how does that relate to us right now? We're all in the situation that we've never been in before, um, experiencing things, a lot of uncertainty. So how can we apply that um, to everything that we're seeing and experiencing right now? So today's verse I wanted to take uh, is from Deuteronomy. Um, 129 and it says the Lord your God who goes before you will fight for you just as you saw him do for you in Egypt and you saw in the wilderness how the Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son all the way you traveled until you reached this place I really liked this verse because it talks a lot about God going before us and um, how he's fighting for us and so even though we're sitting here and we all feel like we've stopped um, that life has stopped, that there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, God hasn't stopped and he is going before us and he does know everything that's going to happen and he is fighting for us and we can have faith and strength knowing that. Um, and although it's not going to help us in all the moments because I know like anxiety is a real thing, fear is a real thing, um, but we can kind of rest in the knowledge that God is out there doing the things and even if, if we don't see it or feel it he is there doing that and um, like right before the quarantine had happened you know my situation with my family um, the thing that happened a long time ago that was hard it's, it's still going on like uh, a lot of family stuff it's always going to continue with you a lot of stuff in life that way too and um, I was spending concentrated times praying for my family for the same reasons that I was praying two years ago and um, there were a lot of moments where I felt the closeness of God, where I felt his presence, where I felt his voice. But the second that we, we got put in quarantine, um, because I haven't seen the direct answers to those prayers, I started to believe again. And it's not even that I started to believe again. I still believe um, somewhere deep down that God doesn't have good things for me. Um, that I'm not going to have a good future, that there's nothing past this. And especially now when it's like, well, when is this going to end? So I'm like sitting here and I'm believing all these lies. And I think the thing that I'm missing in all of this is to remember what God has done. So in Psalm 77, 11, it says, I will remember the Lord's works. Yes, I will remember your ancient wonders. I will reflect on all you've done and meditate on your actions. And... I think I have a hard time doing this a lot of times because I, I am always planning and thinking about the future, um, but it is important to do that. And I think that there are things that we can do um, during this time to help us 
um, move forward, to help us believe that God has good stuff for us. And I mean, this kind of just adds on to anything if you were feeling anything, like any hurt in the past, any sadness in the past. It's just kind of another thing to add to the list of like, oh, look, and now this. Um, but yeah, we, we can read the Bible and we can look at the, the stories that are there and remember what God has been doing. I started reading the Bible at the beginning of this year and it has been really interesting to see all he's done um, for, for us through these stories and you know our continued unfaithfulness um, <laughs> because we are human. So read your Bible. Um, reach out to people if you haven't made connections uh, with community group, now's the time to do it. Uh, we also have um, people who are waiting to talk to you on the, online. Um, we have a phone, I know it's scary pick up the phone and call someone, but we'd be willing to pray with you. Um, so, and maybe you don't know anyone on staff yet, um, but you do have people in the church family that you are close to and that you trust. So I would say reach out to them, um, share with them how you're feeling. Um, there's nothing more isolating than not being able to speak up and uh, voice how you feel. So take a little step in vulnerability in doing that and uh, reaching out to someone um, because I think that we're all feeling the need to be connected here in this time and it is a gift to be able to reach out to someone and it's also a gift to be able to give back to other people. Um, so yeah, I think those are the things in the take away that takeaways that I'm trying to put into my life right now is just remembering the goodness that God has done in my, in my past, um, remembering the ways that he has showed up for me um, the ways that he has taught me, the things that he has said to me, and what he told me two years ago, three years ago, is still true today, that he didn't bring me here to leave me here. And he's actually here with me, but he's also going before me. And I just hope that as a family, we can, we can rest in that and we can find hope in that. So I want to just pray real quickly. Um, dear Lord, I just thank you uh, for your goodness. I thank you for who you are as our Father. I thank you for bringing us here to these moments, God, um, where you're working in us and where you're moving through us. And even in our lack of faithfulness, our lack of ability to see what's next, uh, you are here with us. And I just praise you for being able to go before us and for knowing what is going to happen and for keeping us safe during this all. But I also, Lord, just repent um, from these times that I continue to lack the faith and the trust in you, that I continue to, um, yeah, just not believe that you have good things for me. Um, but that is a promise that you have for our life, that um, in you we can find rest, in you we can um, have a good life. So I just pray for these. I pray for the ICB uh, family, and I also just pray for Catalonia and Barcelona in general. I just pray that uh, you allow this to be a time where we can open up um, to our neighbors, to people we've never met before, to be a, a, a voice of calm in the middle of this storm, God. So just thank you and we praise you and um, yeah, amen. Thank you for sharing this time with me and I um, hope to see you guys all soon in person, but not too soon because <laughs> we got to get through the quarantine first. All right, love you guys.